What's up car friends? This is Stu with Really Cool Videos. Today we're in my dream car. Uh, this is Rex. Thank you for bringing it out. No problem. How you Porsche doing? 964 C2. It's a 1990, right? 1990, yes. But this one's got a 3.8 liter engine and all the right mods. Oh man. We're in the canyons today, ripping it through, and Rex is going to tell us all about this amazing car. Like I said, it's my dream car. I was actually shopping for a 964 or a 993 a couple right. of years ago when yep. I had my Audi TTRS. Sadly, it didn't end up working out. Half because my TTRS wasn't worth as much as I thought. Second, because I'm married and it was a two-person decision. Right, <laughs> of course. It always is. It always <laughs> is. <laughs> but if I was to buy and build one, it would be exactly like this. I love bright blues. What color blue is this? This is an hour blue. Uh, did not come factory this color uh, actually came Baltic blue okay which is that darker it's a darker bluish gray and it's got this beautiful silver stripe up the front down yes. the back yes that all it also is matched on the Recaro pole position seats yes which color matched Recaro's are like my second favorite right next to Porsche 964 so <laughs> Rex has got both of them 3.8 liter feels amazing. It feels like the perfect amount of power for this car. Yeah. Stock weight, curb weight on a C2 964 is 3,000 pounds exactly. Um, and how much power did you say this dyno down? That this dyno right around almost 300. I want to say like 290. At the wheels. Though. At the wheel, yes. Nice. Stock comes with 242 at the crank, um, so that's a substantial increase. And at 3,000 pounds, you don't need a ton of power. Um, Especially because this is a 3,000 pound car, but the nose weighs nothing, so Correct. it feels even lighter than 3,000, yes. 3, I yes. think. fashion the chassis feels dialed the suspension is like perfect you got kw v3s on here right yes kw v3s got the h and r sways on there i uh, also got the uh, cross brace that was uh, fab by sleepers out in costa mesa nice um, they were also the ones who did a lot of the engine work yes on, they, um, this car and our friend Lee's with the Porsche 930 Turbo. Yes, I've seen that shoot. video. I love that car as well. In comparison to the 930, it has less power, yeah. but it feels like a race car as far as handling. It's very direct. Um, that car felt a little loose and scary in comparison. All right, can I do a little pull real quick? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Here we go, first gear. look down at the speedometer to tell you how fast I was going but <laughs> you can't take your eyes off the road with this car no this car requires 100 percent concentration con concentration focus to head yes man. it, it is, is a driver's so car so you do have down. to drive it yeah and I'm uh, squeezed in this right now Rex has the car set up for himself he's a little shorter guy than yeah, I am so yeah. I'm crammed in but not complaining it is still driving Nirvana in this car Thing, but that's not a bad thing. It's right. an uncomfortable amount of feedback. It's just, oh, it does. It feels like a go kart. Yeah. So let's talk about the engine. It's got a 3.8 conversion, um, but it's also got the 993 Sport Cam in it. And then you said the chip was from who? Steve Wong. Steve Wong. Yeah. Because this has a lightweight flywheel. This is basically as close to a Carrera RS yes. as you can kind of have. Yes. Uh, the previous owner I bought it from, uh, that was his vision to have a RS 
964 with the yeah. RS door cars that he put on and yeah. I just kind of continued on the theme with the exterior. I put the uh, RS center section in the rear, added the dual exhaust as well. And then the interior is like every little piece has been touched and tweaked. Um, we got a, a lot of pieces bit. from Redline in here and then this raw shifter is freaking amazing. It's like one solid chunk of metal. The stick shaft is like very thick and it just looks very purpose built. Yes. But he didn't stop there. He actually coated the cage and the shifter and his headlight rings. And what was that sh that coating that you did all that stuff? Um, it, it's a coating and they call it Seren coating. Seren coating. And it's yeah. on the wheels too, right? It's on the wheels. So I, go, I went with that color, that titanium color throughout Dude. the whole build just to kind of bring everything together. And that's a coating that's typically used on guns? On guns, yes. Dude, that's so cool. I love unique stuff like that. I've never even heard of that. favorite thing about this car um i'd have to say it'd be the shifter shifter and the way it feels um and i like the seats too you yeah. know the, yeah. the painted back seats i love the detail of the the stripes painted on the back a lot of people won't notice but when you look at it it, it just flows with the car it's incredible so have you or do you have any desire to track this car um you know, when I first got the car, that was the whole reason I built the car this way. Uh, so yes, I mean, eventually I will get on the track and one of these days. You've had it for four years now, right? I've had it for four years now. How many miles did you put on it in, the, in those four years? Probably right around, I would say about 15,000. Oh, not many. Yeah, not many Even at baby all. Maybe in this thing. Man, this car drives perfect. You don't even need to downshift. You can no. just cruise it in third. Yeah, good second power. and third is perfect. There's good power all yeah. throughout. Oh, wow. The hardest thing to get used to is the clutch pedal and the pedals hinging from the bottom. Yeah, yeah. And that's it does take a while to, to get used it to. It does. And that actually turned me off from air-cooled Porsches. Uh -huh. The first time I sat in them and the first time I drove in them, I didn't fit as good. And then the pedals are weird. And then the glass is so close. Yeah. But after I drove it for the second time, uh -huh. I was like, okay, I, I, I like it now. Yeah. It just <laughs> took a little bit of time to grow on me. And then I'm like, you right. know what? It is cool that you sit like this. It's like front row seating. And the outwardly view is amazing with these headlight cannons that just kind of point yeah. towards the apexes. And it just feels very special. And again, you don't have to be driving fast. To, to have fun in the car. It's the perfect canyon car though. Yeah, it is, it really is. I mean, these cars are built for the twisties. Yeah. How does the AC work? Um, Do you still have AC? I still have AC. I hardly turn it on. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't work very well anyway. So. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I want to say that this car is absolutely horrible and I don't know why they're going <laughs> up in value. They suck, but I can't say that. The truth is I really, really want one. New cars are starting to have dual clutch and automatic transmissions only. Yeah. There are still a lot of drivers out there and they're looking like, hey, what can I buy? And a $40,000 964 right. is an amazing driver's car. The maintenance isn't crazy. They all leak a little bit of oil. Does this leak oil? No, no. it does not. No. You know, ever since uh, the previous owner rebuilt it, originally it did leak oil and that's why he uh, had it re rebuilt to the 3.8 and it's been solid ever since. The steering is so cool. It's it's heavy and it takes a lot of input, but uh, it's very satisfying and you feel like you're controlling the car. Yeah, like exactly. One hundred percent of the things you do. Ooh, all right. Where's my bucket list? I got another uh, check mark. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me bring. Oh, no problem. For letting me drive this. Of course. Wow, lived up to uh, the hype. Three point eight liter nine six four. <laughs> Definitely, definitely an amazing car. One of my favorite cars ever. And uh, it's cool. Glad you like it. What would I change? What would I do different? Nothing. I don't think I'd do anything. Because <laughs> I love bright blues. I love the stripe. I love the stripes that go through the middle, middle yeah. of the car. This is cool.
<laughs> You're gonna make me look cool, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Um, drop a like if you made it this far in the video. Until next time, have a really cool day. Peace. Later.